Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing my hair styling routine for when I want beachy curls, laid back look that's really easy to achieve when you don't have too much time. Now this is second day hair, my hair is very healthy, I've never colored it, and this is kind of a grown out bob style that's perfect for this look. Now it's a bit hard to get to the back of your hair when it's quite short, but I'll show you my routine. I usually use my flat iron and I don't really put any products since um, my hair is pretty healthy. So make sure your hair is just like pretty moist. If it feels really dry, spritz it with some water. Now what I'll do, is I'll start at the base, grab a strand and kind of turn it one full rotation and then pull it through right till the end. And there you have the curl. Here we go. Grab it, one full rotation, and then you're gonna pull it right out to the end. There we go. I always kind of give it one final turn right at the end. Okay, so after I do that, get a little bit of hairspray. This one's from Redkin. Also liking the Pantene air spray. It's pretty good. I'm gonna spritz on both of those pieces. There we go. All right, so I did section off my hair with one of my little dry bar clips. Grab one more piece down here to show you. So I am pulling a piece kind of from the back forward. Um, it's pretty easy with a flat iron to grab those back, back pieces. So honestly, I kind of just grab a piece when it's really short. Just continue to turn it while I pull it down the end and it gives me an awesome little curl down there. There's also a bit of steam coming off the flat iron because my hair is so moist I guess. I don't know if you can see that there but um, yeah it's like a fully steamy which I think is okay because it's just water you know and um, that means it's kind of drying out my hair which I need on day two. It can get really almost oily and wet looking. That's what healthy hair will do. Not complaining. Here we go. Oops, that didn't work as well. Let's try that once more. I have to get like a nice tight kind of hold on it. Awesome. So you can really get ringlets with this, but I don't put too much product so they end up falling out throughout the day. So that's my routine with the hair straightener. Again, for the back, I'll usually just feel around, grab a piece, do my little thing, and then do my turn out. Hope you could kind of see how that worked but anyways very messy there's no rhyme or reason you can go either direction the more the merrier because even if it's a little bit uneven it looks natural if i want a sleep in look and my hair can be kind of crazy um but some pieces will fall out of their rollers like these little um foam rollers i'll pull them out to show you a big pack of foam rollers like this this is what i'll sleep in they're really soft and comfortable We have just like a piece right here. I'll hold it with the gloved hand. Hold the curl bar horizontal. Wrap it around. And hold it there. Press my timer. Awesome. We'll let it go. Hold it there for a second. And we'll release it. It's not bad. And then I'll just do a little bit of hairspray. This is the perfect tool for hairdressers, people with longer hair, because oftentimes where they're like holding our curling iron in the weirdest ways to get it to this easy horizontal shape, um, or I, I guess direction. So you can see that that alternating direction gives some really cool definition to your hair. I find these like waterfall waves to be so pretty and natural. They're uniform, voluminous, but still really fresh. They give my second day hair some serious life. I love the volume and it's totally different than these flat iron curls you see at the bottom. 
So there you have it. Here is my beachy wave, easy curly bob tutorial. Um, I like the fact that there are these straight bits right at the end where I was holding the piece of hair around the curl bar. I think especially when it loosens up here, it just looks really nice. Nothing too, too polished. You can still see those ringlets down here at the bottom uh, from the flat iron and you can just kind of roll those out with the curl bar easily to soften it up. This is a great tool. It is pricey. Um, I think it's around almost $200 Canadian. And you know what, I'd say it's worth it, especially if you curl your hair often. Hot Tools are an iconic brand. They make an amazing, amazing array of curling irons, especially those traditional ones with the clip and now some really ergonomic and modern pieces with that amazing swiveling um, plug here, some cool lighting, and obviously really functional, effective features. So. I'd recommend it for sure. I'll list all the info you need below. Check out the blog post for more info and I will see you guys later. Bye!